Hey guys, what's up? It is me, your most pretty here, and welcome guys back to some more Let's Play Crash Bandicoot. Last episode, I completed the first ride level of the game, and that happens to be the Hog Ride. This episode, I'm going to try to accomplish two key things today. One of them actually happens to be uh, trying to get to the uh, waterfall section. Right, so that's exactly what it is I got in mind, so hopefully I can accomplish that today. Right, so... Okay, so I'm... I'm I made it this far, which is great. Now let's... Now let's just say, I gotta tell you, once you complete a level, the animation with Crash Bandicoot, I, th I think it's very funny if you, if you, were, to, if you were to ask me, because that's because Crash Bandicoot, he like, he literally gets, uh, gets hit or attacked every time the box hits him, and uh, once, um, once you miss 30 boxes, then, um, Then he gets completely knocked out. So, yeah. I, I, I thought, I'm not too sure they added that in the original, so. Yeah. Oh, that was close. Whew. Thankfully though, I made it out. Why I did that in one try? That's nice. Alright, so I'll add my Coco Bandicoot token and... Yes, I'm now back at this level. I mean, you've seen that like, uh, several times already now, so... So bye Coco Bandicoot, I will never see you again. Alright. Pretty good progress, okay. Right. And I gotta tell you, you know, this isn't my first time uh, trying to get through this level. I mean, yeah, I had a really hard time, uh, hard time with this level and the next. So, yeah, and those platforms are the reason for that. They're the reason why I'm having such a hard time. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like I said, I'm, ha I'm having a hard time getting past this. I mean, I'm trying to uh, get Aku Aku under the assistance back, but. But, I don't want to waste too much time, and I want to get moving just a little bit. Okay, I got Aku Aku, so it's nothing so bad. At least this allows me to provide some more commentary. Does that sound uh, good to you guys? I don't know. Ah. Uh. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Yeah, usually, uh, levels like that can tend to be a little bit boring. However, there's this one level of the game, it might take me, uh, way longer than this. And it doesn't come to play till later on, so... Yeah. I didn't want to fall off. So now you gotta be extremely careful because 
because I'm now down to like four lives. And because it's not mu very much, so yeah. Not fall off. There you go. Checkpoints. Yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Two. Okay, doing good, doing good. So we can only go in safe. Okay, good, I made it. That's nice. Okay, but now this gets tricky. Because what we gotta do. I could just, uh, that's, that's just as far as I'm gonna go without, uh, getting anything, but, yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, but I missed 16 boxes. I'm glad. Alright, so once you beat this level, you make it to the waterfall up to creek, or up the creek, excuse me. What have we got? And sorry if I, uh, if I can't uh, talk today. I, uh, once again, I had a bit of a long night, so. Okay, you gotta be careful. Just like the lily. And the amount of lives left, okay? If you had 10 lives, that's pretty good because, you know, you can see yourself lucky throughout the whole run, right? Sixty-seven apples. All right, safe to go. Gotcha, monkey. I should teach you a lesson for a uh, a little time to react. Yeah, yeah. Like I said before, this is not my first time uh, doing this level. I actually had a bit of a hard time doing that. Like the previous level, I had a really hard time. So, okay. It's not just because of the monkeys, you know, which can be a nuisance, but it's also like fish. Yeah. Okay, I'm without Aku Aku again. So we need to be careful. Three lives left. Just like that, I'm returning perspectively. That's great. I won't get blown away with Uku Uku, who's the opposite of Aku Aku. If you're a Dr. Neo Cortez or Cortex fan, then you know what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm sorry for saying Cortez, you know, from uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and you don't want to talk. Thirty boxes, eh? Now it's not long, but it seems like a bit of an eternity. Right? Yeah. Touch it. Yes. Okay. 
Didn't I tell you, Crash, today's your lucky day. Okay. Okay, I missed two boxes. That ain't bad. So, yeah, I can tell based on what it said, but I'm alright with that overall, so, yeah. Anyways, uh, I guess that's gonna be it for, uh, this episode, so... Next time on Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, we are actually going to take on Ripperoo. One of the enemies to Dr. Neo Cortex, Cortex was a saying, so yeah. This is Ramon's Perth Internet here. This has been Let's Play Crash Bandicoot, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.